Welcome to this week's ITL. I hope everybody had a great week. Uh, this week was not, last week was actually, hmm, we got some work done. Um, not too, too bad. I mean, it, it was, we'll call it a healing week. I mean, the business and I got, got a bug. But we, uh, we're working through it. I mean, we, you can't really tell by the face I'm putting on, but we're, we're limping through it. Uh, today, um, this is just, uh, I just came out this to shoot this and, uh, basically get back in the house and let the body do its thing. We'll just say that. A lot of chicken soup and a lot of, uh, juices and a lot of, let the, let the muscles heal. <laughs> Let's just say that. I did get out on the bike and get some ride, get a small ride in this last week. And, uh, it was nice. It was real nice. Um... It was right before I got a certain part, and yeah, yeah, it came in. The cover for the fuse, I ordered it. It came in. It was aw It looked awesome in my eyes. Some people don't like the green accent. I love it. I love it. It's different. It really is. Against the green, the blue, and the black, the green breaks it up. I will be putting more green on it. Some people don't like it. They don't have to. It's my bike. It's all right. The bike looks good in my eyes. The, the, that color green just makes it pop in my eyes. Ah, just think about it, though. It's just... I'm doing things also. There are certain parts that are wearing out. They are need to replace anyways. And these are nothing that can't be changed out or repainted in the future. Nothing that can't be just changed. So it's nothing that's in stone. It's got to stay that way, period. So come on. But you know what? I like it. It looks good. And yeah, I have the picture up up in the corner. You guys, well, either corner, whatever. And I'll name it what the guy went over to. Yeah, if you want to, if you can afford it, you can go up to, over to uh, buy me a coffee. We can call also call buying a cup, buying a cup of uh, gas for the goat. Whatever we want to call it, but it's buy me a cup of coffee. Um, and I got a link down in the description, or you can scan scan the. Uh, Screen is because I have the codes right on the screen here, and also if you want to, you can use the use the, the code for scanning it for the uh, my mind's went blank. Mine's went, oh, the PayPal, or you can also use my email address. But that's if you don't trust anything else. That's on if you only if you can afford it. That's if you don't you can't afford it. If you don't want to, if you think I'm the the worst sob on this planet, that's okay with me. With me. That's cool. That's cool. But if you come on here and you, you just want to watch my videos, that's cool too. I'm just amazed that people anybody on this planet wants to watch my videos. That is great. <laughs> cool too. <laughs> now, like I said. Let's get back to the picture, the bike. That is the fuse uh, cover, they call it, for the KLR650. It's more, yeah, it covers that area for the where the fuses are, but to access the fuses, you actually go where the, over where the seat are. That actually more or less covers the area for where the electronic ignition is. Yes, there is a small digit where the ignition modules are. And it's not really truly electronic ignition. It's it's a hybrid, is what it is. And no, it didn't have one for all these years. It doesn't really really require to have it. It looks nicer, better with it, and it really should have one in my eyes. So I really 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 wanted one for it. It got one. So I like to say thank you for it. And I'll say the first little part of his name and he'll know who it is because I believe in respect and I'm not going to put it out, pop it out, but thank you, Cap. <laughs> okay. 
Because I didn't ask for, is it okay? Okay, let's move on. Just like the goat, you can see the little bits and parts. She's right here. She's always right here. I don't know I'm doing to shoot my videos. Um, but this week's been a really good week. I mean, uh, as far as I got a little bit of a ride in. I do have a video that will be coming up probably next week. It's on a hard drive. Uh... I just didn't get put up because it was towards the middle. Actually, Thursday I shot it. Thursday morning I shot it. And uh, I will be putting it together and getting it up next week. Friends, guys. It just was not feeling all night. I still have got other things to do, to do. And I'm just busting my hump. I like to... Uh, not let's not think ignorant here. This is a, there is, we're trying to be, you know, PG here and actually G. And but uh, and I like to get some fishing in. I did. I mean, I got my fishing license. Actually, last time I bought my license, a three-year license. I never do that. I never got out to get a user's license. This is last year for it. So let's get. I want to get out and get some fishing done. And. I haven't shown at all that I've been hinting what I got for the channel that is old school that I'm thinking that will upgrade the channel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of these guys ain't going to like it. It didn't do well. It was a flop back in the day. But there's a way to do it with the music from the goggles. Yeah, you guys are going to think about it. You can use goggles with it. Use glasses with it. Yeah. You guys can guess it. It's not, it's not a hard one now. But let's move on. You can see the, the picture that I got, uh, I put up. If you look at the fastener, with it, we'll call it a bolt. It's not really a bolt because it's not a true nut on the end, other end. I actually use a rev nut on the other end, which I had to install. It's right there. Mm -hmm. I had to install one of these because it was rusted out. One was, was on the that was not was on the uh, goat was actually rusted. The the bolt was rusted. I had to drill it out, pop it out. I installed one of these, that way the new cap screw that went in there, went ahead and installed that with the uh, anti-seize, which just is older than the hills. These stuff lasts forever. Um, and it works pretty good, but if you look at the pictures, I'll pop it back up. But you look at the picture. I actually used a rubber washer that's got like little threads in it and that'll actually keep it from vibrating and start having wear issues and stuff and the the bolt will actually the help the bolt from coming out in the future hopefully we'll keep an eye on it but i'm hoping that that'll help and what i'm thinking about doing is shrinking that rubber washer down my hair it was just for now We'll keep that size what I had on hand. We'll cut it down the size and get a smaller one. And uh, for now, that'll work. It doesn't look that bad in my eyes. But yeah, I got these rev uh, these uh, these rev nuts, and uh, I use them all quite often actually uh, on this bike because there's a lot of hidden places. These are used for like whenever you got a, a blind spot, you put them in mount for mounting, and uh, they work real well. You, and a lot of times you had to use a tool for they they sell for these. I don't use a tool. All I use is a bolt and a nut. A bolt and a nut. <laughs> yeah, there I go using the wrong terminology, but everybody knows that uses the part terminology. A cap screw and a freaking nut. But yeah, <laughs> that's all you need. And all of this this squash it down in in the place and uh, it works. It does. It's like it's like a rivet. 
squashes it down in and looks really nice. Are they perfect? No. They do have their issues. But they they work from they have worked for me. And if they give you a problem, all you gotta do is drill it out. I mean I've dinged it out so it's what I do is I I'll get an exercise bigger bolt and I'll hammer it in so it tightens it up. You yes, you ruin the threads, but that's the reason why you tighten it up and then you drill it out to get a new one out. You could pull this out and get a new one in. Or you can thread it out and put a bolt or a uh, fastener in. But you could do a lot of different things. Instead of using these, but I choose to use these. Choose easy. You get different ones of these. This is a steel one. I like steel, mild steel one. But you can get copper, you can get uh, aluminum. You can get a whole bunch of different kinds of these. But I just bought these. They're not expensive and uh, keep them in my stash. Uh, but you can see how I try to keep this organized. Even though this looks like a mess, this is an organized mess. Ah. Uh, just to keep things going. <laughs> oh, see, uh, see how things are rocking and rolling here. Uh, got my video stand, my camera stand up. This is not the same. So you can notice there's a slightly different view. I actually got torqued over a little bit differently. Got a different stand set up. There's a little bit different lighting, a little, little bit different, a little bit mic different microphone set up. Just be a little bit more comfortable for me, guys. And uh, I think this works great for me. I, I really like this. This is actually a mixture of different things I had just sitting around from in the past. And I think this one will work out good for me. But uh, I figured, why not? Why not? Um, but yeah, but I hope, uh, this week, you all had a great week as much as I did. It was interesting for me. I, I really enjoyed it. I hope this next week will be, I hope it'll get a little bit of fishing done. Actually, tomorrow, I got, I got a, a, uh, curtain hang up for the missus on the back porch. I got a curtain to go on the side of the patio for her. I've been promising for six, eight months. And I told her, I said, this month, this, tomorrow, I'll hang it up for you. Cause I got the whole setup for her. And I said, we'll get it done for you. Uh, it's just one of those honeydews, you know. Another honeydew will be checked off and done. Because that's the actually area I've got my solar panel hook set up. It's not going to hinder the solar panel, I don't think. If it does, I'll have to move it over a bit. But I got enough wire, so it's not going to bother that too much. But it's, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. But I am working on... I mean, I really could use a second panel on that. I'm working on the misses, but it's like, yeah. But no, no, we don't. We're, we're, we're good with that. Actually, that setup is... I figured it out. For very mild, mild usage for us, for a couple different things, for like our CPAP, if we lost power, that would run our CPAPs for about four days for us, without us having to worry, have to worry about it. And that is why I wanted that. That way we'd have to, it would have to, as long as we got a little bit of sun, it would go charge batteries up enough. To, that way we don't have to worry about run our, our she has a CPAP, I have a BiPAP. We wouldn't have to worry about that. And that'll work. And we can also hook up a, a small radio for news. And if we need to, a light. Charge an LED light up. But if we, that's only if we have to. But I have a regular generator. If we need to, I need to dip into that. But for nighttime quiet, that'll work up for my seat pipes. But uh, I'm using this. I'm using this, guys. But let's let's do 
Let's thank somebody out there. Dear Lord, I'd like to uh, take this time and thank you, and I hope everybody else, or some of you of the others, will thank, will sit here and take this time to thank the Lord for what you've given us last week. I mean, you, I know you, you know, we came, Mrs. and I came down ill, and uh, I'd like to thank you for helping us get through this, work through it, and, uh, helping us get through the rest of the way and I know you know we'll be working to get to your house tomorrow and because uh, today is Saturday and I'd like to thank you for all the nourishing nourishments we've had and i like to ask your help for everybody that is in need that's gone through all for the food and the shelter and any type of health related around the world because there's a lot of homeless, there's a lot of children around the world that could use your help. I'm okay. I'm okay right now. I know my health is in need, but I've got everything else down pat. You set me up. I've got friends that could use your help. You know the ones. You know the ones. No names needed. You know the ones. But this is where I would like to say thank you and amen. I would like to say thank you for coming in and watching this. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I wasn't be here because I wouldn't be here this long yeah I enjoy making the videos but I wouldn't be here talking to you guys as much I'd be moved off somewhere else making videos I've made friends people that I I call friends on YouTube I got a lot of acquaintances on YouTube on Facebook and I like to say thank you I like to say thank you for those who donate to the channel I do use that towards the bike towards my gear and I like to say thank you because I mean, you two ain't going you can't come back anymore. So we got to do it. And I like to say, and I know, I like to see that you guys will say, well, I'll take a little bit of load off your back. And I say, thank you. And you guys know, the the links are down in the description, like I said before. This is Muzzle Mike, saying 73, signing out. Have a great week.